What's happening, everybody? I'm Steve, and welcome back to Junk Drummer TV, where in this series, I give my initial reactions, my hot takes, and my analysis on the drummers of today and yesterday, and maybe tomorrow if I stick around that long. I am a professional drum teacher and a gigging musician, and I have been for the last 20 plus years, and I haven't been on YouTube for maybe two weeks now. That's because I've had laryngitis, and it's the worst affliction that you can have when you speak for a living. My lessons were almost intolerable, but a man's got to eat, and it made YouTubing impossible. So I'm back, and in celebration of my 40,000th, I always have to, I always, when I say thousandth, I have to say it very specifically because my lisp will come back. That's right, when I was a young junk drummer, I had a lisp as a kid that comes out when I get over served from time to time. Uh, but my 40,000th sub, and I wanna go straight to the comment section and take a suggestion from one of my uh, oldest viewers. He's been, uh, one of these two calls, man, I'm sorry, I can't remember. This is either for two and a hater or it's for get fiddle. One of you two, maybe both, have been requesting me to do this drummer uh, for a while now, and I do read all of your comments. I have YouTube Studio on my uh, phone, and I get notifications every time someone calls me an idiot. Uh, I, I know that he's from Spock's Beard. I know this is going to be blasphemous, but this is going to be a classic React video. I've heard a handful of Spock's Beard songs over the years. I've seen more of this guy like playing in like a in like a clinic setting. Uh, so this is a classic React video, just like Andrew Rooney does. Shout out, Andrew! What's happening? Uh, me and you are supposed to do something. Let's get together and make that happen. So, uh, don't need any more preamble before I get into it. If you like what I'm doing, if you think I deserve it, please give me a like, a comment, and a share. Help me feed the algorithm. If you really dig what I'm doing, you can go check out my Patreon. I got a whole bunch of videos over there. And I've got a merch table that has a bunch of t-shirts, mugs, all that bullshit. So, let's check out, and I had to uh, look up an interview to figure out how to say his name, Nick DiVirgilio. I'm probably just going to call him Nick. People who spin their sticks counterclockwise freaks me out. I go this way, but to do it the other way, I can't do it. I guess I spin my sticks counterclockwise. People who do it clockwise freaks me out. <laughs> I know we're going to see some badass drumming, but this little tinkling on the cymbal thing makes me f think of Fred Armisen. Okay, I know the reason why either two and a hater or get fiddle, is it like get fiddle 1776 or something like that, uh, suggested this to me because they know I'm fascinated by singing drummers. Uh, and actually, the two of the drummers that made me want to be a drummer, Phil Collins and Levon Helm, are famous uh, you know, singing drummers. And I think that's one of the reasons they suggested this. In the world, all that is in the world, how can it be not what it is when being is in itself? Okay, so <laughs> he's singing in a round, and like, I know this is a prog band, you don't really think of like harmonies in a prog band. I guess if you're a Spock's Beard fan, you're gonna tell me I'm an idiot in the comment section. Don't worry, I read them all. Uh, but you know, when you think of, like, Rush, yes, had harmonies. Maybe I'm being an idiot. But, man, these are some educated harmonies. This is like a fucking barbershop quartet. So that which is, 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 is
destined to be. There's four parts, right? Because it is. And they're singing around. He's going to really piss me off if he plays in like some crazy odd time and then sings in around at the same time. It's going to make me want to burn all my shit. What it is, all that it shall be in the world. Man, he's got range. Man, that's real high up in your head voice. And, you know, I'm no singer. I've done some singing, but I understand the mechanics and physics of it. Man, he's way up here when he's singing that part. Holy shit, this guy's got crazy range. We haven't even talked about drumming yet. Okay, I'm going to burn all my shit. This motherfucker is, you know, playing this slamming, muscular, prog groove that I think is in some math. I haven't counted yet. And singing it around. If you don't know what a round is, it's, it's a merrily, merrily, life is but a dream. What's that fuck? Row, row, row your boat. It's row, row, row your boat, right? It's where you sing, you know, vaguely, basically the same part, and everyone starts on a different rhythm. Uh, so this guy's singing in a round, in a harmony, and playing drum. Man, I'm having a hard time... <laughs> Like focusing, <laughs> I'm having a hard time focusing on the drumming because I'm, I'm enthralled by his singing. These lyrics, eh. but the notes and, and, the, and the lyrical quality of what he's singing, it's, I, I, I'm a drum channel. I got to fucking do drums. Hold on. Man, like, I, you know, this dude makes it look real easy, and all the famous singing drummers, Don Henley, you know, uh, uh, oh, shit, I'm not going to get his name right, uh, from Jellyfish, Andy Sturmer, or Strummer, Sturmer, they make it look real easy, but I can assure you, it's not. I mean, your drums are fucking hard to play as it is. You notice he's got four limbs going on, and he's trying to keep all that shit in time and in tune and where it needs to be. And then singing, and it seems like, is he like the lead singer of Spock's Beard? Uh, I did not know that. It's very Genesis of them. Late, later Genesis, of course. Uh, do, they have a, do they have a Chester Thompson that plays with them live? Um, and does he just like stand out front with a microphone? Uh, man, it's fucking, imp it's now and impossible. Because uh, you have a fifth limb you have to deal with. You have all of the rhythm that you're dealing with in four limbs. And you have the rhythm of... And then remembering lyrics, remembering the, the, the vocal phrasing, and then the pitch. And then, you know, he's singing harmony. And then, and then earlier, he was singing around. That's impossible, man. Just go play an ACDC beat, try to sing anything, and then record yourself and see if you were on pitch while singing. Ah, uh, there's a little chance for some education. And now that he's quite, quit singing, I can think about him playing drums. I'm fascinated by this dude singing. Uh, this little lick right here is a really common one you will see on YouTube everywhere. You know, he's playing eighth notes. It's a breakdown eighth note thing. And he does six tuplets uh, between uh, your right hand on the hi-hat and the snare drum. And uh, usually a lot of, uh, like, YouTube shred guys and gals want to uh, do, like, uh, paradiddle diddles and pair paradiddles and six tuplets to, to give it that, like, forward feel. Let's see which sticking, if I can catch it, that old Nick is doing here.
Might be a six stroke roll as well, but I'm going to break down like the lesson that I give students so they can have that in their arsenal. Like, you know, play eighth notes. And then play like, you know, I'll do like a paradiddle diddle or like a para paradiddle. Ooh, let me do that again. That was fucking terrible. Right? So you're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. That was a paradiddle diddle. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, switching into that six tuplet, it gives the, man, I got to play that, para, that double paradiddle again. Jesus, that was so bad. Ah. Uh, but but going into your sixth tuplet out of that out of that eighth note, it's very proggy. You see it all the time. It's a pretty common lick. Uh, he's kind of doing like he's coming. Seems like he came down on the snare drum on the two. Yeah, so he's probably doing like a pair diddle diddle, right? <laughs> And then, and taking it into the sixth tuplet right there by going, you know, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Learn all your stickings, kids. I just want him to sing more. Is that weird? These are all great vocal melodies. They need a lyricist. This guy's got to be trained. He has that real... Cr Man, I'm talking about singing all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm in Rebecca Vocal Athletes sandbox. The drumming's great, but I'm fascinated by this guy singing. Uh, the sing... Uh, like my drunk, junk, junk singer TV now. Uh, he has a very, uh, like, trained... Like, this is not a rip. Uh, but that's a very, like, Broadway vocal delivery. It's crystal clear as a bell. There's no gravel in it at all. You know, this is this is train singing. It's going back to the Fred Armisen part. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy's done Broadway or like musicals in college. Even his facial, he's got like that facial face. He's got like the Broadway facial histrionics. You know what I mean? I'm not making fun of him. It's just something that I'm noticing. This guy's an amazing drummer. We've seen some really good drumming, but I'm fascinated by his singing. I've never heard a drummer sing like this before. Bonham lick, bottom lick. This is a very common uh, prog prog rock thing is to set up a bunch of unison hits for the band and that sets up the drummer to get fancy in between those hits you know that's what you're seeing right here it's a very very common prog thing that he's killing and now he's going to play over the bar line i i, I should have predicted this Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Playing over the pro playing over the bar line. If you know what that means, uh, it means that like you've got a, a set composition going on, and, and you and if you notice, he first. Uh, this is such a common thing in prog battle or prog rock. Maybe, and I know this song's from 1999. Maybe other prog bands shouldn't do this anymore because everybody does it. Uh, where they set up hits, certain unison notes that everyone's playing at the same time, and then you you accent them with crash cymbals, and then 
You do uh, drum fills that kind of go over that ostinato. There's a $5 music word. Ostinato means just like a rhythm that repeats. And I will tell you that what's going to happen here is he's going to, you know, blow these badass chops. This dude's amazing. This dude's a fucking beast. And then at the end of it, he's going to tie it all back in by uh, then, um, uh, b- b- you know, going back to those accents, uh, unisons, as I call them, that the band's playing. Here, here kind of, you just let's see. I didn't do it like they usually do. That was a good man. Good man not doing it the way that most people do. Uh, that's, that's the most I've talked about another instrument in any of my videos, and I'm cool with it. Uh, we saw today real high-level Broadway singing over real high-level modern progressive rock playing. Uh, the, the drumming is drumming I've heard a lot. And that's not a rip at all. It's not. It's not. The most thing that I'm most impressed by was like all that singing, man, and playing. I think that one part was in the seven or it was in nine, I think. I wasn't, I wasn't counting because I was listening to his singing. Man, that's so hard to do. That's, that's ridiculously hard, man. I, I admire him for that. Like I said, if you think that's easy, go go do it. Go record yourself playing. And make sure you're over on the right symbol so you can keep your left foot moving and move all four of your limbs and sing in time at the same time. And sing in pitch, of course, is the most important thing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's I know why that person, Get Fiddle or Two and a Hater, uh, suggested that because they knew I would enjoy the singing part of that. I have to say... I would give anything to be able to sing. I can't really sing that well. I have one song on my channel where I recorded it with uh, my buddies uh, from the Drunk Uncle Radio podcast singing an Elvis Costello song, but I definitely was not going to be able to do that and play drums at the same time. So I, I admire that stuff. The drumming is just the kind of drumming that I would expect from this style of music, and it's the, and it's the drumming that people who love that style of music expect as well and it's cool it's it's cool uh lyrically you know what i mean but man fucking badass singing you come on a drum channel to hear the guy talk about singing all the time and if you enjoyed all that please give me a like comment and share and go check out my merch table my patreon and all that good stuff and if you want to be able to sing like that and play drums at the same time, man, you got to keep practicing until it's easy.